Hi, I'm Bruce Weinstein. This is Cooking with Bruce and Mark. And today I'm making cream of asparagus soup in the Instant Pot. So what makes this cream of asparagus soup so fabulous? Well, first of all, it's not coming out of a can. And we know all those canned cream soups are full of thickeners and stabilizers and really stuff that's not very good. The way a true French chef is going to make a cream soup is to make what we call a velouté. Thicken up a broth with flour and butter, and then you enrich it with cream. And you cook the vegetable or the chicken that's going to go in there, so it just blends right in there, whether it's cream of celery, cream of asparagus, cream of chicken, or cream of mushroom. Now, I've seen a lot of Instant Pot cream of soups where they cook directly in this insert. Now, to do that, you can't put the cream in right away, and you're probably not going to get all the ingredients blending together so beautifully. Well, Mark and I have just written a new book called Instant Pot Bible, The Next Generation. And in this book, I came up with a technique for doing cream of soups in the Instant Pot, where everything gets put in together and it cooks together and becomes the most wonderful, satisfying cream of soups ever. How do we do that? P.I.P. Pot in Pot. We're going to cook with this two-quart insert. This is just a two-quart souffle dish. It's nice high-sided. It's about four inches high. We're going to use a rack. We have water in the pot, right? So you have the water, which will create steam. You have your PIP, your pot and pot, which sits on the rack, and it'll be lifted up over the water, and it cooks all together. So the flour, the stock, the vegetables, everything, including the cream, will be cooked at once. So here's how you do it. We're going to take one cup of stock. You can use vegetable or chicken. We're going to take one cup of whole milk. Don't use skim milk for this. This is a cream of soup. And we're going to take one cup of heavy cream. And in that goes. Now, for spices, we have two tablespoons of minced chives. These are dried chives. They work just fine. I love keeping them in the pantry. I don't have to worry about having fresh. Then we have our spices. We have a half a teaspoon each of celery seeds, onion powder, salt, and ground black pepper. And this needs to be thickened up like a real cream of soup. And for that, we have flour. This is a quarter cup of flour. I did not compact it. I dipped it in. I leveled off the top. And I'm going to dump that in. But we have to whisk it in. We want to make sure that flour is beautifully whisked in so we don't have any lumps because there is nothing worse than a lumpy cream of soup. What's so great about doing this in the Instant Pot this way is I can get the flour in here without that burn notice. You, if you have an Instant Pot, you know how awful it is to get that burn notice. If we were to whisk this flour right in the insert, we'd have a burn notice before it came to pressure, and that's not good. Okay, this is beautifully blended. Now the asparagus. I have here 12 ounces of pencil thin asparagus that I sliced into little bits, quarter inch pieces. When I say pencil thin, I mean pencil thin or thinner, like a drinking straw or thinner than that, because that'll be the sweetest, most tender asparagus. If all you can find is super thick asparagus, you're going to have to buy a little more than 12 ounces and shave it down with a vegetable peeler, and that'll help you get down to the tender center. Now, one trick, I actually bought a pound, and then I cut off the woody end about an inch, which left me with exactly 12 ounces of the perfect asparagus. And that goes in as well. Get sure get it all. Give it another quick little stir. Now, I already have one and a half cups of water in my, this is an eight quart. This will also work in a six quart with one and a half cups of water. It'll also work in a 10 quart if you have one, but you'll have to add two cups of water. So we are going to take our rack, Notice I'm not covering that. No need to cover it. We want that, that pressure and the moisture and everything to just be right in there. We're going to put our cover on. We're going to set this for high pressure. If you have a Max machine, I still want you to use only your high pressure. We're going to set it for 30 minutes. And we're going to take keep warm off. And if your machine needs you to press start like mine does, hit start. 
If yours doesn't, it'll automatically go. We're going to let this go 30 minutes, high pressure only, and then we're going to come back and whisk it up again, and it'll be the most amazing cream of asparagus soup ever in the Instant Pot. This is cooked 30 minutes at high pressure, and now we need to give it a quick release. That means letting the pressure out so that we'll be able to open the pot. Okay, the pin's dropped. I can open the lid. Wah. And out comes the soup. We're just gonna whisk it. Wah. A lot of the asparagus has melted into it, which is what we want. I like a cream soup that's got a lot, a lot of chunkiness to it. If you want to puree this, you can easily put this in a blender or use your immersion blender right in there. But I like it just the way it is. Oh, this is a cream of soup that is better than a can, better than cooking it right in the pot, and better than anything you can get outside of a great French restaurant. Mmm. It's rich, it's satisfying, the asparagus is tender. You need to make the soup. For all the ingredients, click more information below this video and you'll get the whole recipe written out. And subscribe to this uh, cooking show, Cooking with Bruce and Mark, here on YouTube. You won't miss a single deep dig that Mark and I do. Cover everything from root beer to granola. And check out our podcast, also called Cooking with Bruce and Mark, wherever your podcasts come from, whether that's Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spotify. Just come back and spend time with us at Cooking with Bruce and Mark.